this uh, video will look at how we can upload our code to github very simple so we'll go to so i'm logged in my into my account right my github account and i'll go to new and i will create a repository okay and i will keep it private because i don't want to share my code with anyone else but i can keep it public as well if you uh, want to share right now uh, i am in this branch right so first i will have to do or i can just create a readme so this is my uh, folder where all my django project is there okay right so this is my folder right so i will just create a readme file here right and uh, then it said to git in it so i'll do that so now this is a git repository okay great now i will add this right so we'll see the git status right lot of uh, different things are added great now git commit and branch first i will just create a uh, git ignore right because i want to ignore lot of things that i don't want to push right so i will do this right so first is ds store this is uh, for mac right this i want to keep and then env this is the virtual env i don't want to keep and then also star dot py let's see this is the compiled version of python file because the python project i don't want to see this right now let's see what happens git status and uh, git ignore is there and uh, 21 which is the main folder is there so we can add now git add dot right so i'm adding uh, all the files that i have let's see what happens always do git status for so a lot of files all the files that i've added uh, some files might not be needed uh, but for now i'm, I'm adding everything right let's see now and i've added everything now i'll commit oh sorry so i've created this first commit i've done and branch is main right and then i will add git remote added right and i will push So it will take some time because there are some photos uh, etc there uh, might not be too much helpful but let's for now keep it right it takes some time i'll just uh, maybe okay so now it's done let's see let's see okay so our code is here great okay so in the next video we'll ssh into our droplet and see how we can pull this code there okay thanks